When I tell you, I have absolutely no words for what I just saw this week of Chainsaw Man, man. Just as shocked as I was last week with where the story was going to go, this week's episode, my gosh, (laughs) talk about a way to do an encore in this so far, man. And even now, I'm still wondering, like, what the hell this story is going to go? Where the hell the story is going to go? And mind you, my freaking goodness, this episode was crazy. This episode was crazy, but obviously I think we can all admit the two leading stars in this episode that shocked me the most was Kobini and then Makima. At first it was Ma. First, obviously Makima is obviously like the one I'm still like, what the F dude? What the F? WTF? Like what? Um, And then Kobini, my goodness, it, it, it was kind of like... Makimo was the cake, and then Kobini was kind of like the whipped cream part of the cake. You just are finishing up to make it look all good and everything um, from a visual standpoint with what she did in this week's episode, which is absolutely funny because not too long ago, like two, three weeks ago, everybody was clowning Kobini and everything just from the reaction and how annoying she was and how much of a, I guess, scaredy cat or, you know, Honestly, what people pretty much said thought she was a B I C K or female dog. Um, simple as that. <laughs> um, and the next thing you know, you can find you find out that she could probably murk you within seconds. Yeah, great, great, great. So uh, this week's episode of Chainsaw Man was absolutely insane. Uh, Chainsaw Man. The more I'm starting to see is uh, it's getting it's getting insane. And like I said, I think I made a mention of this last week. I said, like, I always did hear the thing about Chainsaw Man is it's always you think something's going to happen, but then they subvert your expectations and then they just go off the off the rails. And it's unlike any type of shonen series people have ever seen before. And I'm definitely again seeing like, okay, this is crazy. You know, I thought freaking denji would do pretty good against the freaking katana devil and he would end up actually winning and everything and maybe moving on to this the the girl um but no this dude gets ends up getting sliced in half after he kind of lets his guard down because i guess denji tried to play a reverse type of uh role where he takes one of the bad guys like you know one of the bad guys minions and it's like i'm gonna kill him you know stand down and everything but obviously, Katana Dev was like, yeah, please, get out of here. And he literally cuts the entire torso in half with total, complete disregard. So, Denji, listen, you're dealing with bad guys. Bad guys, they don't care about their minions. They'll kill their minions if it is to get to the end goal, especially ones that are weak. So, that was absolutely shocking. Um, just from the fact that Denji just lost that easily. Like, the Katana Devil, dude, he could have literally just did that from the start. And what's his fit and like he could have did that from the start and then next thing you know he does that and finishes it off um so yeah um so they're taking his torso we also find out that you know clearly they want the chainsaw they want denji's heart denji's chainsaw man heart um why they need it so much i don't know this so far this is like the second time we've seen like an antagonist type of force um, if you remember the whole hotel thing, that one, the Eternity Devil, wanted uh, Denji's heart too, the Chainsaw Man's heart. So there's something out with this Chainsaw Man's heart within Denji that makes it special. What that is, I have no idea. But it seems like it has some sort of specialty that these people want to get a hold of. The Gun Devil wants to get a hold of. The Eternity Devil clearly wanted to get a hold of, but he died. But it seems like the Gun Devil clearly wants to get a hold of this. So, yeah, that's the crazy thing. Next thing you know, we cut back to the train scene after the freaking minions freaking shoot up Monkey and the one guy. And next thing you know, they're like, well, we're about to hit, you know, this next city soon enough. Or I think they said Kyoto. And uh, yeah, and next thing you know, they turn around, Monkey up. And I'm just like, oh, so did she fake her death or something like that? Or is there something else going on? Next thing you know, we get introduced to these two new characters. I forgot um, what their names were or whatever, but we get introduced to these two new characters by the time the 
the end of the episode, they were like, oh, yeah, we don't want nothing to fucking do with you no more. And next thing you know, we find, next thing you know, we see people run out of this freaking subway car, and they're wondering, like, what's going on and everything. Um, and they think that um, also Makima's dead because somebody, an informant comes up to them saying, like, yes, Divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, they all got, assault, they all got assaulted. They're under assault, pretty much. Next thing you know, they see Makima come out with a bloodied shirt and everything, and she's pretty much like, there's bodies in there. Make sure you please take care of it. I'm going to go have a discussion and find out everything before I go back to Tokyo, pretty much. And next thing you know, we find out she did some crazy damage. Like, I don't know what she did up in there. She must, she had to, like, so far we saw from a distance what she can do. Well, I don't know what she did hand-to-hand combat, man. But it must have been one of these other devil contracts she may have. And all I see is just the, di- the dead freaking assassins. They're sitting in... It isn't just a puddle. The entire subway car was covered in a pool of blood everywhere. And she, there's holes and shit. I'm like, what did she do? And then she, you know, also too, she's like, oh yeah, go round up uh, the 30, 30 infamous convicts for me, please. Um, and bring them to me. And I'm just like, what? What the hell's going on? What? I'm like, what? Um, and next thing you know... We see these convicts and everything. They're all, they get there. Next thing you know, all of a sudden, we cut back over to where Denji's at and they're dragging him to this van to take him with, you know, wherever wherever they need to take him, I guess, into the gun devil. And Makima knows that, okay, they must be after Denji. Don't worry, we'll take care of this thing. Um, and next thing you know, as they're freaking doing that, we see how this one guy needs help carrying Denji, and, he's, and, the, and his friend is like, okay, yeah, sure. He starts walking, all of a sudden, he starts to feel weird. Next thing you know, he just explodes. And I'm just like, huh? What the hell is going on here? We find out that it's Makima's doing. She's doing this weird hand movement thing. I'm not going to do it. She's doing like this weird hand movement thing. Um, and then she goes up to the convicts and she asks for that said person's name. And then she, they give her the name. He's, he, or she tells him like, say this name. The convict says the name and then she does her thing. And then all of a sudden that person said, that person explodes. And not only that person dies, it seems like that person who said the word dies too. I don't know what the abilities of her power, but it's something of long damn distance killing. And she has a damn near OP ass ability. I don't know what. And the thing is, we see the two members from this week's episode. They're blindfolded, and, and even the convicts are blindfolded. And everything. Um, and pretty much, um, the one one of the dudes is like, "Wait, why are we blindfolded?" And the one girl is like, "Well, all right, yeah, the girl's called Tendo. Tendo, I believe. Um, Tendo replies by saying, "Well, you know." She has, like, these devil contracts that uh, we cannot, at people at our level, cannot be able to see. And I'm guessing the reason why she has people blindfolded is because people don't want to see what she can do, her ability. So they don't even know what devil contract she has. And we don't even know what con She, she has contracts with devils, clearly. Don't know the length and what she had to do to get these, but these are some OP-ass contracts, man, she made. And this especially this particular one. She literally marks each and single each and each and every single little one of these freaking just grunts pretty much and it doesn't matter where these grunts are running it doesn't matter what these dudes do they all keep dying and i'm telling you man i'm telling you and and it's crazy because you see the one person the katana devil dude um and then the one chick and they're both in utter shock and they're just like Fudge. They thought, and the see the thing is, they thought Makima was dead, but they realized, no, nah, she's not dead. She's not dead. And they're like, we gotta get the frick, we gotta get the frick out of here. Um, and she takes them one by one by one down. And my goodness, it was absolutely um, what is it? It was it was absolutely insane with where the it was going man and i was just like what and as you know she's done they take the blindfolds off tendo and the other dude and they're like 
uh what the hell just happened and the next thing you know she's like okay well the job is done time to head back to tokyo um and then again you, you know you see you, you see these panels and uh, the, the the pan shots of all the other members of the different divisions like all killed and everything and then all of a sudden you know as we see the one chick and the katana devil dude are about trying to leave they see kobini in the distance with a knife and everything and i'm just like um kobini's still alive and i'm like what the hell is she going to do next thing you know they fire off an attack she, the girl fires off an, another one of the snake attacks and kobini is dodging with absolute ease and flexibility and i'm just like she's a fighter she can do this she's shooting and everything she's got marksman point i'm like oh my gosh this girl's crazy and it makes me and again it takes me back to when everybody was clowning her and saying my god this girl is freaking annoying and she's so stupid and everybody was hating on kobini now people probably eating their damn words and saying okay yeah i'm not effing with kobini in a dark alley because she will murk your ass um she ends up having those two end up retreating and everything and then she has kind of a talk with a knocked out denji saying i'm sorry denji i didn't try I, i'm sorry i tried to murder you and everything and we kind of find out that the one dude actually saved her life from this from the old grandma that was shooting the gun if it wasn't for um him saving if it wasn't for him taking the bullets then she kobini would be dead she pretty much says uh, that she ends the episode off where she's like, well, when I tell Himeno, I'm going to tell her that I'm quitting. Um, but the problem is Himeno's dead, so uh, <laughs> she won't be telling him nothing. And then we get more shocking revelations just from the standpoint that it seems like I guess this is part of Makima's plan or something like that. I don't know because they hinted the fact. And we find out because of the damage that was done to Divisions 1, 2, 3, and 4 um pretty much they're going to merge di those divisions into the special division four um and pretty much makima is going to be leading the special division now so she's pretty much she she is pretty much now the head of the operation and she's running special division and the guy that the guy that's talking to her is like yeah this is my resignation letter I'm not trying to die up in here for a pointless cause. Again, I don't blame them ever. No, I have a sneaky suspicion. I have a sneaky suspicion that Makima is going to find some way. There's going to be some sort of bounty placed on that dude's head and she's going to kill him for dipping um, and everything. Um, but he makes the mention. He's like, Makima, did you foresee this? And obviously Makima is like, I can't tell that to a private citizen. So, uh, yeah, so... I'm guessing it's implied that Makima knew this attack was going to be happening. So does she have some sort of ability that can she can see into the future and predict things or something like that? I don't know. And it was I was absolutely laughing my ass off when Tendo and the one person's like, well, you see, Miss Makima, um, we're actually going to head back to our design designated post. You know, um, is it OK that we don't join the special force, right? because we got we still got training we have to do and she just turns her head around and she's like okay sure go right ahead and i'm just like yeah these people saw that and then i'm like we're not effing around with this <laughs> they saw what she did to those convicts or what was the, in the aftermath of those convicts and they were like yeah i'd rather go back to my designated post man listen i don't know what the hell's happening one don't mess with um, don't mess with uh, Monkey or don't mess with Kobini because she will mess you up. And then more importantly, this episode further has shown me that you do not want to make an enemy out of Makima because you make an enemy out of her, she will kill you on the spot with just hand movements and everything, and you won't even see it coming, bro. Like that is literally terrifying. Like. Like, you could see the fear on these minions' faces, and even on the two main people's faces, like, oh, she's somebody you don't want to mess with. Listen, I don't know if Makima knows anything more. She knew that this attack was going to happen on them, but my goodness, man. Um, what a great episode of Chainsaw Man, and I don't know where the story's going to go, man. I don't know where the story's going to go, but uh, Makima's leading 
special division four now so she's the freaking boss now and uh yeah also power was nowhere to be found she apparently uh escaped so i don't know if she's on the run because she was afraid of what was happening but i would have to envision uh makima might find her and be like you cannot go anywhere otherwise you're going to die um so it's gonna be interesting interesting to see what's gonna happen next but um good solid episode of chainsaw man still in shock and uh don't mess with makima right don't mess with makima so um yeah anyways guys if you like the video leave a like put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of chainsaw man as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more chainsaw man content or any or any other anime content i upload to the channel till then guys stay safe out there and have a great rest of your day peace